Good day, YouTube. How are you doing today? I am the Trish Edigan, and welcome to episode 19 of my DNS Tech Pack Let's Play. How are we all doing today? So, I've been busy. I fancified even further my Thumbcraft room. I think it looks pretty cool now. I, yeah, I, I like the look of it now. I like that the blocks with the blocks and other blocks. Looks nice. Looks nice. So, in between episode this episode and last as well, uh, my Thumbcraft Thomium Golem has been going crazy. And he's been dishing out a load of different aspects into these jars. That I've placed handily around the area. So hopefully I have worked this out correctly so that I can just come over here and do that. Please be right. Should have really checked before we started the stream if it was right or not. Stream? This isn't a stream, this is a recording. I don't stream. <coughs> I don't have the internets for stream. I really don't. I, uh, my upload is like 200 kilobytes a second. Maybe 400 at night. But you know. Uh, so as you can see, all my stuff is getting lovely and drawn up. Down below, I've added a few more uh, candles as well. So it's good. Should be plenty. Uh, a wee bit of lag there. Vacuous should be here. All the lovely bubbles. Lovely bubbles. And Motus should be over here. There it is. Yeah. And then I'll start sucking up the items. There it is. It's taking the blocks. It should be taking the gold. And then it'll take the these crystals. Oh no, it's taking the pickaxe. And the shovel. And uh, air shard. And air shard. Boom. Noises are a bit off there, but don't worry, don't worry. Sometimes it happens. So now I've got myself the arcane bore head. I now need the arcane bore base, which needs a dispenser. How on earth do you make dispensers? And any eye's not working. Any eye, work. Work. I don't know how to make dispensers. I feel like it's stone and a, a bowl. Let's just let's just see if I can get this right. If I can't, I'll probably have to restart my client. Let's just see. I think I've got a bow in here. Do cobblestone? Maybe maybe a piece of redstone. Uh, I'm gonna say bow in middle. Stone. Maybe bottom one. Oh my god! A dispenser. That that was pretty much a guess. Right, uh, dispenser. Got that now. What else did I need? I needed iron and greatwood planks. So I've got some iron and I've got some greatwood planks. Let's make ourselves the base. Uh, Refancifying the base is really quick and easy when you have uh, the bond of equal trade or the equal trade focus as it's called nowadays. Uh, I, I've literally used half my wand stuff up on it. That's pretty cool. Still, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks cool now. I like this base. I like the way it looks. Ah, so cool. Not used to doing fancy cool stuff. And if you don't think it's fancy, tough. I think it's fancy. I think it's cool. So now that we've got that and that, We've got our ender chest on us. So all we need now is to make two more items. Technically, one more item. Uh, and that item is the wand focus excavation, which is just some earth shards, some nether quartz, and an emerald. Emerald, expensive. So I need an emerald, I need some quartz, and I'm pretty sure I've already got earth shards in here. I do. 
so it's that, that, and that. Mond, focus, excavation. Now, if I just place this down, I actually don't place this down because then it'll just run. Um, we need a place to mine, basically. I need to find a place where I would really like to go mining. Now, there's two places that we could go, two different dimensions we could go. And I'm trying to decide in my head which would be best. I know which one will be easiest, and I think we might go for the easy one just now. We can change to the difficult one later, but for now, let's do the easy one. And it is the NEI still doesn't work. I will not be able to do this without NEI because I have no idea what the recipe is. So I'll be back in a bit, guys, once I reset my client to get my NEI working. I'll be right back. And I'm back. And I've got my NEI again. <laughs> so I want to go to Aroma Dimensional World. And to do that, I need to make a portal frame, which needs some stone bricks and the mining tool, which is a stone pickaxe, flint and steel, and some bricks. Should be easy enough. Plenty of stone bricks. I need, is that a stone pickaxe? Stone pickaxe. I am low on wood, and I have got a pretty damn full inventory. Uh, so I needed a stone. Did I seriously just put all my stone away? I needed that. Also need flint and steel. I think I've got one full one anyway. Of course, these things don't shift click. Nice. And I also need to make 14, I guess. Let's just make 14. Boom. Of these. So let's go outside. Let's just put it over next to the other portal. Because, you know, why not? go through the portal, you must sneak through it. Why are you no mad, bro? Yeah, gotcha. Right. Uh, I could actually put this stuff in my under pouch, couldn't I? Oh, there is one other thing I need, before I forget. I need a way to lo keep that dimension loaded when I'm not there. So let's have a look for, no, anchor, here we go. A dimensional anchor, which is gold and a block of iron. Which, could be cheated, could be classes being quite cheaty recipe for something so useful, but I don't see why I should have to constantly pay for having my world loaded. Personal view, personal view. So let's go through here, shift, and we load up. And we've landed in our very flat, very open. Nice. Not much here, because there's no mobs. I've actually got F7 pressed right now. As you can see, no mobs. No mobs can spawn here. Completely unmobable, unspawnable. So, to get to where I want to be, I'm probably going to have to dig down. Because we always want around that, you know, 
seven, uh, 15 kind of area. So why don't I just... Dig down. Just give me a sec, guys. I'll go down to the bottom to where I want to be, and I will be right back. And I'm back. So now that I'm here and have a stupidly ridiculously full inventory, and obviously nothing gets sucked up the other side because, you know, nobody's there, I could now place my dimensional anchor right. Let's just place it. So three by three. And let's put my bay arcane board base there. Let's put this here. And now inside here you can see there's two different things. If I put that in there and I can put any pickaxe in this side. So that's pretty cool. So I'll probably do a different pickaxe. But another thing I can do is actually enchant these things. So I'm gonna go back to the main base and have a look about setting about enchanting stuff. You know, because I don't have that many points. Oh, and before I forget, I should really upgrade the speed of this thing. That's what I was doing before, wasn't I? What was it again? Upgrades. Uh, actually, I'll make an, another anchor here first. Because this side needs an anchor as well. Let's put it right here. Make it big, because you know it's a single player world. It's, it's only when I'm in the game. It's not a server of any sort. Um, so yeah, upgrades. How do you make it again? It is the piston with iron and a redstone torch. No, it's not iron. It's electrical steel, which is iron, coal dust, and silicon. So I've got some coal dust. I've got some silicon, and I've got some iron. Some pistons, got some more some torches. How many do I need for each? I need one, two, four for each. So here, let's disable the output of this for a second. Set that to alloys only. And let's make a pile of that. So obviously I'll have to let that run. So I'll have to do that. While it's doing that though, I want to see about enchanting. So I've got 25 levels. Now I want this to be as powerful as it can be. So if I drop this into my enchantment table, it doesn't, doesn't work. Can't see what's inside there for some reason. Uh-huh, uh-huh, something's broken. Something's broken. Great, something's broken. And I'll try and break and replace actually. Break and replace sometimes works. No, it's broken. Right. Okay. Well, I'll have to figure that out soon. But before we do that, I have got certain kind of berry bushes which I've been collecting slowly throughout my world. So I've got iron ore berry bushes, gold ore berry bushes, copper ore berry bushes, tin and aluminium. And I've got these essence berry bushes. Now these need to be planted in darkness. Pure darkness. Like in the evil way. So let me just go get some string. And let's this. Let's make some wool and then let's do it like that. That gets us some blackout curtains. Now I'm gonna put these... Oh, I could put them in this room I suppose. Yeah I'm not likely gonna be make, using this wall at all. So hmm, am I... There's my two blocks. Okay. That's still Oh, 
only thing is I'll need to put some stuff on the top. My wand. Here it is. And inside here is actually pure dark. Unless that's affecting it, infected from the other side. Get some basalt brick. Nope, yeah, it's, it's dark. It's dark in here. So let's get some of these berry bushes down. Ow, ow, ow. And then let's also get out our sigils of the green grove. And obviously these are not bone mealable. I thought they were. Hmm, guess not. So I'll... Be like this for a wee while, guys. Wait till these grow completely. All of them. All of them. I might move this, actually. This is a pretty rubbish setup. Maybe. Anyway, oh, here we go. One's grown. This is what I get from it. Concentrated essence berry. And it gives me levels. Yay. So I'm going to grow this for a wee while, guys. And I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I've done a little bit of change up here just now. Uh, in between the last segment and this, I've moved underneath all of my berry bushes. All of the ones for this, at least anyway. So as you see, they're all here. All of them reachable. Um, I will automate this. Not right now, but I will automation, automate the collection of all of these. Because there's a lot there. And it's annoying to make. So let's go have a look see if this thing's working. Oh, it's working now! Yeah, I can see what enchantments I'm putting on. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see what enchantments. So, uh, if I actually look in the Thalmanomicon, I wonder if it tells me what each one does. So that's the enchantments thing here. Take a wee second. Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, potency. Uh, increases the damage or range or area of the focus is applied to. So range area. Frugal, less V. That's pretty good as well. Fortune is like treasures like fortune and the other two. So frugal, potency and treasure would be good ones to put on. So let's see. Let's put this on. I want frugal. I want potency 40. I'm sure we could get up to 40 with all this. Yeah, let's uh, not do that. Let's do that. And of course, that's a moth. Flim flam. No, 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 not flim flam. Frugal. Potency. Okay, let's put frugal on first. Probably want unbreaking. So let's put that on. Let's see how much it would cost to put potency on. Okay. So it's easier to get lower levels. If you know what I mean. It's easier to lower level things. Potency 28. So I need a few more levels here. Let's go down here. Let's see what I've got. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Ow. That's the only downside of those things. Bloody things hurt when you walk into them. Automating it would be the best thing to do, but, you know, meh. Potency 3. Oh, yeah. And now, probably want treasure as well. Probably need more levels than what I've got. Let's see. Oh, oh. Having the sigil of green grove on me is definitely helping this whole process. Because that's me up to level 30 already. Put it back in. Treasure. 
So unbreaking would be pretty cool. None, obviously. So yes, let's get it as well. I'm going to probably make another pickaxe. Maybe a. I don't know. Let's have a look. See what pickaxe I can make. There's a couple of pickaxes which are pretty cool. I know the pickaxe of the core from Thomcraft has good durability and you can put the repair enchant on it, but I'm pretty sure the repair enchant still, it still doesn't help. You know, it's, it still goes faster than not. So what's this? This is one, two, five, oh. So pickaxe core. it's more, and obtainium. How do we make an obtainium? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not how you'd make it. Hmm. Interesting. Pretty sure that's not how you make it. I'm gonna check though, just in case, because that is very useful. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll keep on getting myself some more levels and look at what pickaxe I should use for this, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I think I've decided on what pickaxe to use. I am going to stick with Thomcraft stuff, and I'm going to make the pickaxe of the core. Yay, Thomcraft! So. Why don't we get all the stuff we need for making it? Fire shards, great wood log, diamond, and other stuff. So, diamond. Next one. Oh, nope. Tomcraft. Fire shards, great wood log. And we also need some thomium. Got two block ingots of thomium. Let's see. Also needs some other piece of iron. Need some normal wood. I think I seen I accidentally put in there. Let's go next door to our lovely Thomcraft room. And let's see, do I have some? I do. Four of them, and out. There we go. Yeah, I'll leave you there. I can't bother just emptying you just now. I know it's so bad of me. So bad. Let's make ourselves a Thomium pickaxe. So it's there. Diamond. Great. Great wood. Fire shard. Fire shard. Is that right? I don't know why, but that doesn't sound right. Why would you have fire shards on these things? It's definitely two fire shards. <laughs> now we need Ignis, Perforio, and Census. So let's see what we've got. We have got. We've got. We've got Ignis. We have got. We've got Perforio. But no Census. So, what's the best way to get census? There. Uh, glowstone has three. It's interesting. Spider eye or glowstone? Let's just make some glowstone blocks. I wonder if glowstone itself has it, actually. I've probably not scanned glowstones. Glowstones? That? No. Ugh. Don't do that. That's rather annoying when that happened. It does. It has census on it as well. So, that's one census. That makes more sense doing it glowstone by glowstone. So, how many pieces of glowstone do I need to make ourselves the pickaxe of the core? I need eight. So, let's just put in more than eight. 16. Oh, I'll let him get 
that filled up nicely for me. I'll put my glowstone away. While that happens, I'll let him keep on doing that. Let's see how many levels I'm needing to... Ah, oh, it's not working again. Seriously? It's so strange. I wonder. No, that was no influence on that at all. Uh, what do you think? This one? Shall we take a guess? Take a gamble on it. Let's take a gamble on it, guys. Let's see. This one. Level 40? Seriously? Ugh. Get in there, get in there, get in there, come on, show me level 40, level 40, woohoo, this time, total guess, oh it was flim flam, oh my god, you do not want flim flam, now I don't know which one flim flam is to take off, uh, Crud. Oh well. Uh, poop. Right, let's see if our guys finish through next door. Let's get our wand out at the ready. Because I'm pretty sure you will be. And there's our census. There's our Ignis. And there's our Perforio. Let's do this. Go. All going smoothly as it should be. Sucking up the two shards, sucking up El Daimiondo, and sucking up the Great Red Log. Oh man, I love this. Pickaxe of the core. Right, let's go back outside and let's see if this thing. If I can figure out why it does this from time to time. done anything different. This is peculiar why it shows it sometimes and not others. Yep. Maybe we should think about starting to actually get this automated a wee bit. What do you guys think? Get this automated? Yeah, why the hell not? So, give me a minute guys. I'll be right back. Actually, guys, unfortunately, we've hit the wrapping up point for today's episode, so we've done a decent amount. We've done a decent amount. We've got ourselves a pickaxe of the core, which is very... Uh, very cool. That does something. I don't know what it does. I don't know what, it does. I don't know what that is. Um, you know, we've got ourselves our one focus of excavation. We've got this, which is not working for some reason, which is very peculiar. I don't understand why it's not working sometimes, working other times. It's all very strange. Oh, look, if I hold shift, aha! Good to know. I actually get some enchantment levels back as well. Level 30. So that's unbreaking. Yeah, there we go. So, anyway, in between this episode and next, guys, I will get ready to get this all automated up. So. This is the Trash Edkin signing off. Have fun.